There are over 300 cities in this country that are sanctuary cities, like San Francisco. Um, and you're not only choosing to disavow the law, but you're adding sanctuary to people who come there and disavow the law. Um, in 2010, one of the illegals slaughtered my son. I'm so sorry. He tortured him. He beat him. He tied him up like an animal. And he set him on fire. And I am not a one-story mother. This happens every day because there are no laws enforced at the border. We have to start giving American families first. This is not bad to not put Americans first. You know, we have family that fought and died for this country. How do you reconcile in your head about allowing people to disavow the law? And the second part of my question is this. If you need to go home tonight and line up your babies, as you say, and your grandbabies, which one of them could you look in their eyes today and tell them <laughs> that they're <clears throat> expendable? For another foreign person to have a nicer life, which one would you like to say, you, my child, are expendable for someone else to come over here and not follow the law and have a nicer life? Well, I, I, again, I commend you for sharing your story. I can't even imagine can't. the pain. No, I, I can't even imagine. There's, there's nothing, I'm sure, that can compare to the grief that you have. And so I pray for you. I pray for you. And again, we all pray that none of us has to experience what you've experienced. So thank you for channeling your energy to help prevent something like that from happening. But I do want to say to you that in our sanctuary cities, our people are not disobeying the law. Uh, these are law-abiding citizens. It enables them uh, to be there without being reported to ICE in case of another crime that they might bear witness to. Will my we son's killer get sanctuary in your city once he's let out of jail? I'm sorry, dear? Will my son's killer get sanctuary from no, the law not. in your city when he not. gets out of jail? Was your son um, in a sanctuary city when this happened? Houston is. I was just outside but Houston. Is, is that where your son, was he a victim of somebody in a sanctuary city? Uh, it was an uns it was a spoken policy at that time. It was not written, yeah. but most no, but of the I mean, suburbs it, it, follow the big cities. It doesn't cities. matter. You've lost your son, and yeah. that's the important thing. But I, I just do think that we have to uh, uh, stipulate to a set of facts, and the fact is, is that no, uh, no, your son would not get. That's not what the point is. The point is, is that you do not turn law enforcement officers into immigration officers. That is really what the point is in a sanctuary city. Uh, so it's not a question of giving sanctuary to someone who has, uh, uh, is guilty of a crime. Uh, they, they should be deported. And he will come back. They should, well, so, they should be deported. So many stories. sent to jail for what they do.